What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Talking Whiskey. We are your hosts. I am Josh Daniels. And I'm Colin Bingham. Let's drink some whiskey off of a kayak. Hey, let's do it. Hit that intro. <laughs> Woo! All right, all right. We are not in the Talking Whiskey studios today. We are at Casa de la Colton. Corsair small batch triple smoke uh, sounds really interesting. It's got a nice uh, Quentin Tarantino vibe going on on that, uh, on that label, and this is gonna run you about forty bucks. All right. Okay. Well, and that's on the uh, Tennessee whiskey trail too. Is that right? That's true. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. It is. This is this is Tennessee whiskey, by the way. Speaking of Tennessee whiskey trail, I've got Old Forge. Uh, this is a uh, I have been drinking on this because it's it's, it's pretty good. So yeah, it won't be a, a surprise to me and what it tastes like. But uh, it's Tennessee bourbon whiskey. Uh, they bottle it and make it right there in Gatlinburg. Uh, it's pretty cool. They got their little moonshine, the little moonshine thing. But uh, you pay like I think like five dollars for a shot of this, and uh, and I, I would I did my wife and I paid the five dollars. We took a shot and sold on it. I mean actually. And I like this bottle. I mean, the bottle is pretty cool. It's got an old timey slender look. Uh, you got the label all brown, like someone, you know, hand put it on the back, which they probably did, honestly. Someone probably did smack it on by hand. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, going to run you about 60, 40, 50 to 60. This is a little higher price. It's 89 proof, so it, it'll have a little bit of a bite to it. All right, yeah. But, and as you can see, I've already been tasting, sampling the goods here. So, all right. All right, Cole, let's get to drinking. Clank and drink. I can uh, I can taste the uh, the uh, the triple smoke. I guess they they take all their barley, which is malted, and they divide it into three. They smoke a third with cherry wood, another third with peat, and another third with beech wood. So oh, cool. It's got it's got a it's got a lot of stuff going on with it. You know, it's kind of hard to just pick one thing out with this. Um, it's it's buttery. It's got it's got a good you know rich taste to it. Okay. But at the same time, it's it's kind of dry. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And hey, you know what? This Old Forge. I, I, again, I'm I'm not disappointed in Old Forge. Uh, every time I drink this, uh, I get reminded why I like it so much. Uh, it does come on nice and easy at first. Uh, you do get a little bit of spice, that classic bourbon spice. Yeah. And, and that does. But as you said, buttery. This to me, this is buttery. Okay. You get that classic bourbon spice, a little bit of alcohol, and then you get that nice buttery thickness. Mm. Yeah, and it, you know it's it finishes really smooth, and I, I'm really happy with Old Forge. I mean, this is a for me, this is a, a gem, a diamond in the rough. Yeah. So to speak, I, you know, I, I did not have high hope for it when yeah. I saw it, 
but I took a, I took a chance and, and here we are and I really like it. And as you can see, I have really liked it in the past. Good deal. I right, Kelvin, right. let's switch this stuff up. Let's do it. You get my old Ford Reserve. I will take your Corsairs. <laughs> I think that's good enough. <laughs> no, I think that's fine. That's a survivor. Yeah. That one deserves to be kept and put on the shelf. That's it's three so times we're throwing it down on concrete. Man, this is, it's, this is, good God. These things are strong. Let's leave, yeah, yeah. Hey, Antonio would be proud. He would be proud. All right, all right. Well, you know what? This Corsair small batch triple smoke, I really do like the label. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Yeah, this old forge, uh, it's actually got a, a pretty cool picture of a, of a mill in there. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see that. You know, it's on the inside of the label. Yeah, this is a cool bottle. Uh, let's drink it. Very nice. All right, let's go. And uh, here's to moderation. Everything in moderation, especially moderation. Damn straight. Yeah, there's you, that, that, that little 9% extra. I get that burn but uh it's not bad at all it's it, you know it's it's smoother than what i expected yeah look well, yeah absolutely you know this 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 corsairs uh you know that 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 peat that peat does hit me the peat and and of course the cherry but the peat is kind of like a, a really muted scotch mm -hmm. and then you got that cherry uh fruit flavor and i yeah. really do like that that actually has a a good taste yeah it, it is complex it is complex. It's got a unique taste. Uh, you know, you got that cherry, you got that wood, you got that peat, and all three of those things absolutely comes through the taste. Yeah, I agree. All right, Kelton. If you walk into a liquor store and you only had enough money to come out with one, what would you buy? Would you buy the Corsairs or would you buy the Old Forge? It's going to be the Old Forge. Okay. Me. Okay. Definitely. Absolutely. And it's great. I like the Old Forge. I mean, yeah. obviously, I like it quite a bit. I mean, I like quite a bit, but as you guys know on this channel, I, I like uh, flavors that have flavors. I like liquors that, that have a flavor to it. If, yeah. And, and I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm going to go with, with, the, with the Corsair Small Batch because it does have a flavor. It does have that cherry, that birch wood, that, that peat smoke taste. And so I, so I like we that. are not picking a winner. I'm picking my winner. You're picking your yeah. winner. We're, we're disagreeing on this one. So I guess the winner goes to whichever ones that you guys pick. But personally, what I like is, is I'm, a, I'm a bourbon guy. So this is, this is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Knob Creek, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's that good, just manly right. bourbon. It's, it's bourbon all day. Yep. So that's, that's why yeah. I got I to gotta stick to my roots with that. So really, it's pretty much up to you guys. Would you prefer to drink a, a classic, classic bourbon? Or would you rather drink a, a kind of like a, a new age, kind of a craft whiskey? Which one, which one would y'all guys pick? So leave a comment in the comment section below it and let us know. Because the choice is up to y'all. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more just like this, check out our other videos. Oh, and hit that little subscribe button. Smash that bell for notifications. And all comments in the comment section below are really, really, really appreciated. And we appreciate you guys. So until next week, peace. All right. Ooh, I'm starting to feel that whiskey. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot in here. Balls in here. Damn. Let's get out of here.